And another one. It's becoming a bad habit, I guess. Well, it's about a week after going to Matt's and taking parts. We didn't film after dropping parts off. We kind of bullshitted about what we're gonna do with the car and I ended up coming home, but we're gonna go home uh, and I think take the Ranchero apart so that I've got parts off of that so I can get that out of the yard. Was gonna try to save that thing, but the floor is just too rusted. So before I could do that, I'm here at my dad's shop. He's got a leaky hose bib. I'm going to help him fix that, and then uh, we'll get back to the house and get the Ranchero apart. Alright, got that valve off. Now we're gonna go to the hardware store, get a new valve, and then get my pops back in business. All right, went over to plumbing joint, got the parts, fixed this thing up. All fixed up. Ball valve was messed up, we just capped it. He can come up here and get it ready for summer next year. That's done for today. Also to you guys, I think I've came to the conclusion that um, I'm gonna sell my 1996 Cobra. Um, I'm just trying to grow my channel and I'm trying to get the Falcon together and I really don't drive the Cobra. I had hopes that my older daughter would drive it to high school, but I don't think that's going to happen. And, uh, you know, it's probably going to hurt when it leaves, but I just don't drive it. It's literally been sitting in the front garage for two years. And I think if I sell it, somebody else can enjoy it. And I think I can enjoy the Falcon. And like I said earlier in the year, man, I'm trying to grow the YouTube channel. I'm trying to get the Falcon together so that I can go to drag and drive events. And, uh, you know, my ultimate goal is a, is a, an engine in the Falcon that'll make, you know, a thousand plus horsepower. Probably nobody's going to beat Cletus unless he breaks. Uh, dude's got a lot of money and a lot of good sponsors and, and, uh, Leroy is a fast ass car, but if I could be competitive, um, and be out with the homies doing that kind of stuff, then that's kind of what I'm shooting for. But, um, you know, I go round and round with the Cobra. I'll have a day where I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. And then I have a day where I'm like, no, I'm never going to get rid of it because I'm going to regret it. But, um, I just see that there's, there's some money that's chilling right there that I could use on the Falcon that, um, yeah, I could save up the money and it would take a little bit longer, but I just don't drive it. And, uh, I mean, I guess I've got the room cause the, the Cobra already just sits there. I've got three car garage and then I've got the shop, but you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I think I'm gonna go get a battery for it. And I think I'm gonna get it, at least get it fired up. Um, and I've given it a couple weeks to see if I if my heart changes. And it, it really hasn't. Um, I love the car. I had so many good times in the car. It's been with me through pretty much everything I've ever done in life that's been a major um, life-changing event, which is um, have kids, um, start a new relationship, uh, start my career. It's been with me through everything, kind of like my old cattle dog. But now it just sits there. Um, so we're gonna get a battery, get it running. Uh, it's just been sitting, so should be able to just throw a battery in it and get it fired up. But 
um so we'll get we'll do that when we get home as well i need to get the ranchero apart like i told you guys earlier when i was at my dad's shop it's also taking up room i only bought that car for the grill the rock guard that's really the only reason i bought it and then once i got it like every other car i get you know i fall in love and i want to keep it forever but i just can't do that and this that that ranchero needs floors all the way through i you can put your your foot all the way through the floor and the rear behind the seat and to be quite honest i just don't have time to even do that right now you know i'm gonna rob the fenders off of it and all that stuff probably the doors just because the doors on the falcon are missing a few things um i'm just gonna throw the doors behind the shop throw the speak or the uh, fenders behind the shop probably have the grill straightened my my plan is to have all the chrome that's on the car powder coated um black so i've got a theme that i'm kind of going for with my car I, you know i love the fox body stuff and i love i love all the s95 and the new edge stuff <clears throat> but everybody has those cars and um i'm just trying to do something a little bit different uh src got their falcon and uh you know yeah i got a little bit jealous but my car's a different body style mine's almost like a little mini galaxy i kind of i prefer my body style a lot better than those uh, earlier falcons but uh I'm trying to do something a little bit different and not be like everybody else everybody's done the fox body stuff i don't care if it's what engine combination those things will take freaking any engine you can put in them and uh just trying to be a little bit different so follow along as we do what we got to do today i'm trying to get caught up on videos so that when you guys see what i'm doing it's a little bit closer to when i'm doing it because right now i'm still trying to play catch up from when i was out sick um and get my videos out there but let's uh follow along for today and we'll, we're gonna get some stuff apart and get the cover running and you know i don't know where this is gonna fall into what video series i put this in but uh follow along Stock OG 4.6 4 valve. Alright, set the battery down in there. Still need to tighten the terminals and the little battery hold down, but let's see if it'll start. Gotta love that sound. Prime that fuel pump. Or 
problems. Yeah, oh, maybe out of gas. Oh, let's go get some gas. Okay, I think it was just out of fuel because it started right up. I don't know how much it recorded. Phone shut off. Uh, tires are a little low. I'm just gonna go around the block real quick. We'll see. All right, so it's hard to film and drive a stick shift car, but it run, seems to run good. The uh, tires seem like they're flat spotted real loud. Watch the steering wheel. So I didn't get any of the Ranchero apart today. I washed Felicia, the Cobra, my wife's car, Buff, my wife's car. So I didn't get any of that done, but uh, I did get the Cobra washed so that I can get it listed. It's in the shop here. Looks like a, any woman from the 90s. It's got a few little issues. You know, the 90s cars, all the paint comes off with the whatever primer, but it's in here. So is the Vega. I think Tim's going to come over and we're going to drink a beer and just kind of BS. So I don't know where I left off on the last video, but it's Friday, the day after Veterans Day. So I think November 12th, still haven't worked on the Falcon or the Ranchero, getting this thing apart so I can get it out of here. But that's what we're going to do right now. Put some music on, put you on a time lapse, and I'm going to blow this thing apart. So...
door's pretty heavy. Son of a bitch. Way heavy. Get her. She's stuck down right there. Oh well. This is what it is, bruh. Hold on to that. Cutty, bruh. All right, did I go crazy and didn't film? I cut, basically started cutting metal off the front of this ranchero so that I could see kind of what I'm gonna do with the Falcon. So, um, gosh, once you cut everything off of the uh, shock tower forward, there becomes a lot of room. So let's check this out. So I cut everything off from the shock tower forward. I seen Billy's car the other day and that's what it looks like they did left the some of the stock uh, shock towers and cut all this out but man there's all kinds of room when you do when you do that so uh i just set the fenders on there the uh rock guard and the grill just try to get an idea of you know i have lots of room now for like maybe put the turbo here or whatever or so, getting ideas. Only way to do it is to cut stuff off. And then I cut these support bars off that I think a lot of people think these do anything. And when I, as soon as I cut them, I mean, nothing happened. Nothing like sprung like you would think they would do. This thing, I cut the, uh, the cow out just because I wanted to see what was down in here. Um, like on my car, I was really... I was thinking about uh, filling this in because this, dang it, these go right down into the car and they just, um, you just have like air and shit blowing in there. So I think what I can do is weld these up on the inside of the car. But what I want to see is what happens with the water. So the water will still be able to get out when it rains and I'll just have to, the heater box is gone. I'll just have to weld this up and uh, I'll be golden. No water can can get in here and 
I'll be Golden, Colorado. And another one. It's becoming a bad habit, I guess. They said that this thing was so bad, it burned up a transmission and a whole set of tires. Bang! Big power. Big, 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 big power. All right, you guys. Well, it's uh, Friday, Black Friday, 11-26-2021. <clears throat> and this might be a sad day for me, um, but I think it'll be, it's going to work in my favor. Somebody is coming to look at the Cobra. They may or may not buy it. I wanted to keep this car forever, but I never drive it and I don't really have the storage to just hold on to every car that I've owned and uh, this wasn't my first car, so it's not anything like that. This car has been with me through everything in my life. But I think somebody else might be able to enjoy it. And, you know, my goal is to get the Falcon going and grow my YouTube and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> invest in myself and invest in, in Team D Performance, which is, for everybody that's asking, it's, I don't make parts or sell parts or nothing like that. It's just a it's just a little name that I made up for myself so I could be different than anybody else. But I'll keep you guys posted. I've uh, been back and forth with actually a lot of people. Some people talking shit. Um, some people wanting to trade shit. You know, I just, I want the cash so I can spend it on other things. All right, the person says they're here that wants to look at the Cobra, so... Here we go. I didn't get to film much of it, but the deal's done. The car is, is uh, sold. A lot of that is 20s, but Falcon parts. There she goes. The car's been my baby for a long time. I don't really think he knows how to get these cars in reverse, like put them in first and then reverse. He figured it out. <laughs> 